Welcome here this morning. We're meeting at the BYU Library, and we're here to enlighten you on storytelling in ancient cultures. Um, a theme we found throughout our cultures is a water theme. In our cultures, were my culture is the Akkadian, the Navajo, and the Roman Empire. So the water theme comes. Um, into the Navajo culture in the creation story that they have and what happened was um, the water god he was the grandfather of the first man and he helped make him so um, water is an important part of the Navajo culture because that's sort of where they came from yeah and the same kind of idea is in uh, the creation story of in the Roman Republic where um, Romulus and Remus were thrown um, into the water in a basket, and they were all three together there. And um, that's really similar to Arcadia, where um, the first king was rescued by a goddess and put into the water basket, and he was rescued by um, the guardian in the middle kingdom, and he eventually took him out of the kingdom. So, Samaria didn't really have a creation story, but um, a lot of the stories that I found that had to do with miracles had to do with water. For example, the woman at the well, Christ offered, well, first Christ asked her for a drink of water, and then he offered her a living water, which in a way is symbolic of rebirth or creation. Yeah, or sort of. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, the start of life. Yeah. Well, actually, I think Mary sort of ties in because they were sort of Jews. Yeah. And Moses came, um, Moses yeah, was found yeah. in the river, which is a lot like spiritual yeah. stories too, so. Mm -hmm. One circle. <laughs> yeah. One big circle. Uh, yeah. I found it interesting how um, we're not even on the same team team as the Navajo people, but the Arcadians are on the same team team as the Navajo people, but right. they still had a water team. Yeah. Um, and then you can check it out. Other cultural representatives that and put it into their stories. Yeah. It's interesting how stories can tie cultures together. Like, not only do the themes focus on continents, but like, stories will sometimes help bring cultures together. Like, for example, during the Apocalypse, you might see all the water and the water and the And that's yeah. true. Yeah. And we found that in the Arcadian culture. Arcadia took over a lot of other um, countries. And how they kept them together was by creating new stories about their gods and goddesses and they had hymns and they'd all have the same the same kind of religious system. They just bring other gods in with the stories and then that kept them all kind of united to create a common god or a common common beginning. Common yeah. beginning. Mm -hmm. I actually find yeah. that in the Roman Republic too, where they adopted a lot of the Greek gods. Oh, and they took over Greek. Yeah, and they um they just renamed them even though the, the gods had the same theme, kind of. So like the god of water and the god of sun. Yeah, I guess I sort of found that recently in the um, some of the Navajo books I've been reading because um they sort of they had a lot of early interactions with the Hopi, so they're a lot in a lot of their traditions too. So I'm not sure where they came in exactly, but. Clearly, they're very similar to each other. Yeah. And I kind of also thought of that, like, um, the Samaritans and the Jews both had what I've been wondering for long. And one of the reasons behind that was that they believed in different scripture, and so since they had different stories, then that's what they should have. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Well, I think, I think basically what we're getting at is that fundamentally everyone's a storyteller, and their stories are a really big important part of it. So. Yeah. Yeah. We like to like mankind likes to explain things through story. Whether they're true or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We like to know. Um and I just like to quote in class where he said, um, the myth is to culture and time is to Oh yeah. Yeah. That was which he definitely gives Everyone something to sort of like live for. It's not like patriotism, but for a group of people, it's definitely like the moment. Yeah, 
I think it's interesting that a lot of the cultures, like we've mentioned before, have such a, a lot of the same values, even though the stories are different. And just because the stories are different, like what you pointed out, we might not get along, even though. Yeah. 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 Just because the stories are different. All right. That's all we have time for. Bye. Bye. <laughs>